All right, y'all. I thought we'd have some fun today. Here's the old buck I call three and a half point. As you can see, one of his tines has broke off a little. I poured some corn out here. It's about 20 yards in front of my ladder stand. I thought it was interesting to see which way he was going, and he's going right down the trail to the right. As soon as he turns, he's going right towards the other feeder. I put this in the hardwoods. The feeder's on the edge of the pines in the thick. These are some doe are coming in. One of these does in heat, I can tell because uh, of what vid video footage I've got here late, later on in the video. Check this out. Look in the video to the left of the screen. She is in heat, and I'll tell you why. See him stick his head in right here on the left. I zoom and see her take off running. Now here's the actual footage. She gets skittish and then takes off, and I did originally I didn't realize why she did that. So he comes and he eats a little bit, right? But after I've reviewed the video again I see that where he come in on her so he's sitting there enjoying a little something to eat the winds kind of breezy this is a day that I did not hunt it seems like every day I hunt they're not there um, you can look at the date and the time on the right bottom of the screen also so he takes off the chase is on guys the chase is on now right here's another scene where the one I think that is in the heat this little button buck that's running with the group he gets behind her and you see he's trying to mount her and he's smelling and then he throws his nose to the ground where she just walked and takes off and then look in the back here's that buck oh three and a half point and he's after that doe look at this place on her head her top of her head looks like it's got arrows on it it's beautiful as you can see I think the rut is on, guys, in northwest Georgia. Oh, yeah. 